drawing is very closely connected to the way we think and the way we, we design things. It's a good medium to show people an idea of what can exist in the future. If I would ask you what's the shortest way to my hotel, you would draw me a map. Huh? So I kind of also think of this work as like a, like a big map to, to a new world, like to a fake universe in a way. The colony is a kind of reference to these colonies we know in art history, which were utopian places where Sometimes artists gather in the summertime to work together and to live in this kind of commune or, or like community. So I was interested in rethinking this idea. So I thought, okay, let's think that I'm the founder of this, this colony huh? and that I invite these artists from art history to join me in this colony and then think about what would happen if Emil Nolde was there, but also if um, John Mitchell was there. That's also why I try to make these paintings. So now I'm talking about these backgrounds. Huh? You have, for example, like a, a Guston painting or a Joan Mitchell painting or a Matisse painting. So these are all these people living there in the colony. Um, and I make them on cardboard because they reference the thing, and, but they are not meant to be like uh, copies of, of the original works. In a way, by, by making this large painting, I kind of make it my own or I try to uh, incorporate it into my work. Nowadays uh, all information is very fragmented and, and there is so much uh, coming towards us, huh? all these images and, and we don't know how to, to look at them anymore. So I try to make it into one story again, like a, like a fake story of all these fragmented pieces. And the great benefit of, of using text together with an image is in text you can do a lot more than, than an image. While I'm making the drawing, I, I'm thinking about how this particular drawing should end up in the story. And, and uh, once you write a sentence, it's there with a, with a picture. Yeah, it really had to exist. I think it's a beautiful idea that everything you encounter during the day and during things you read, movies you see, uh, art books you see or, or other artists you see, that, that you can all incorporate it into one story and into, into your own work.